head of the full effect Scandinavia on May the 12th at the hotel at six in Stockholm. We're talking to some of our speakers about some of the broader issues that we will mostly be discussing on panels. And we're going to kick off with Finn Jacobson, who is sales director at KX. Um, and we're going to talk about data, but we're going to look at data in a very different fashion to maybe the way we will on the weekend. So, Finn, thanks for joining me today. And thank you for agreeing to speak next week. Um, cool. I thought it'd be interesting to share with our audience some of your firm's experience with like how data is used in other industries. Um, I guess the headline act is Formula One, but there are other industries as well that you, you, you're heavily involved with. Can you sort of share some of the experience of how other industries are using data? Yeah, absolutely. Like in, in, uh, in conjunction or in, in extension of the Formula One race cars, where we measure whatever needs to be measured and communicating back to the pit and to the drivers. We also have a, a, a section of the company working with inside of the automotive industry. So that's one industry that, that we are active in. Another one is within the telecom, uh, the measuring the traffic, the, the talks, number of calls that a, a certain mast is taking in a, in a specific region, measuring different times of the day and making sure that it, it actually works. Schedule maintenance, uh, visits and so on and so forth. And the same kind of measurements and uh, data points can be taken out from say the utilities or energy sectors. So it's, it's much more than just financial markets. Yeah, so it's very much about performance. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, so like for instance, the, the Formula One data we see on the screen, if we're watching and we get these snippets where the pits are telling the driver there's something happening, that's one of just one of many data points that's been delivered to the exactly. team. So the important thing then, I guess, this brings me to, I guess, another point. How important is it to have the data in real time or as close to real time as possible? I think that, uh, or the way that we view data is that data has a very high value in, in the very moment that it is born. And then the value decreases and it decreases rather quickly. So we are talking seconds or minutes and then the value is reduced significantly. It will then pick up value again when it starts to become part of uh, the big data, the historical data, yeah. where you can base your model building for algorithmic trading or for analytics. You start building on, on what happens in the past in order to understand what is likely to happen in the future. And then you circle back to the real time streaming analytics that allows you to take action based on current development in the pricing and on the historic knowledge that you have picked up from storing a large amount of data. Mm. So this is about, I guess, then tweaking models rather than actual sort of system performance then. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's not so much uh, if the system works. I mean, you, you can do analytics on on response time on your liquidity providers and so on. And that could be prolonged the response time can be a function of pure internet. It can also be that the, the, your counterpart is not really that interested in, in trading with you or other malfunctionings, but it's not like, it's not the real reason for, for measuring the response time. It's about optimizing your flow and making sure that your execution is as fast as possible with the best possible counterpart for that specific trade. Yeah, very interesting. Um, Finn, thank you very much for your time today. I look forward to speaking with you next week. Finn is on the Next, Gen next Generation Technology Panel, which is our roundtable thought leadership session. Um, so please, again, join us at the Full FX Stockholm on May the 12th at the Hotel at Six. And we look forward to seeing you there. Finn, thank you very, Finn, thank you very much. Looking forward, thank you.